Tornado has torn through parts of northern Guazulu Natal. Structures in Inanda, in fact, have been damaged. Emergency services have treated two people for minor injuries before transporting them to hospital. They had been caught inside a container that overturned in the tornado. Those visuals there, very real, taken at half past two earlier today. Damage to roofs and power cables is extensive, as Dustin Tathia was showing us earlier, but there's no indication yet on the extent of the wreckage. In fact, let's get the latest now with our senior reporter, Dustin Tathia, who assures me that he is safe where he is right now. Dustin, what's the latest? You were showing us earlier a roof that had been affected um, in one of the streets that you were driving through. Where are you now? What are you seeing? William, I've just uh, stopped here uh, on, at the corner of one of the intersections just to give you and our viewers a better idea of what's going on. So this is where you'll see some of the damage that we were talking about earlier. What's really concerning here is that there have been a lot of electrical cables that have fallen down as a result of the light poles being hit hard. So we are also seeing that authorities are on scene. You've got uh, firefighters that are here. There are paramedics that have been patrolling the area, trying to make sure that they attend to anyone that may be injured. It is difficult to get the full extent of the damage for now, and I think that's what the urgent requirement is by disaster management teams. They're trying to get a sense of how bad it is before they uh, decide where more resources are going to be deployed. I can tell you just from speaking to some of our sources and contacts within the fire department, they say that the situation uh, is being handled very seriously and there is going to be an extra deployment that is sent to this area in Inanda soon or at least they'll be on their way. They're just preparing. Remember, during a time like this, there's also a need for heavy machinery, particularly to clear some of the roads. There are uh, houses that are, are badly damaged. In some cases, people uh, are, are obstructed from moving. I spoke to a paramedic earlier who had said to me that they were struggling to get a patient out because of a light pole that had collapsed and blocked the road. So as a result of that, they were then treating the patient on scene. Fortunately, it wasn't, the, the injuries were not severe. It seems at this point that most of the damage is uh, these uh, structural, uh, the structural damage that you see now. A lot of informal houses have been hit. We've seen some that, have, that don't have roofs on. But in between it all, you have people trying to get home. They have arrived back in the area after work, scrambling to get to where they're going. A short while ago, we saw a sad sight of a lady that was carrying a baby on her back, trying to use just the umbrella that she had to shield that baby as they tried to make their way home. So lots of work to be done. And importantly, it uh, needs to now be established what will be place for those that are going to potentially be home. Uh, Dustin, we seem to be losing the, you there a bit. Um, I was going to ask you, of course, if anyone knows anything about electricity, if a pylon has fallen, um, the electricity may be down in the area, but there is still live current within uh, those yeah, cables. So I imagine the, people uh, walking past those cables the, uh, would want to be yeah. aware of that, Dawson, Let's and just that, uh, be safe, as, the, as it were. As the response increases here, we'll be getting a clearer picture of, of what the situation is like, not just in Inanda, where we are now, but across the province. These heavy rains that we're talking about were, uh, were, were hitting the province as well as the north, and as a result of that, many people being affected. Let me just show you what the, the area alongside the road looks like. I think that's where you can get a sense of how the water is flowing and what kind of damage is being caused by that. All of this uh, happening in a very built up area, lots of houses here, businesses nearby and uh, heavily populated. It is certainly going to, to be a while before we understand how badly people here are affected.
That's our senior reporter, Dasen Tatia, live to us in KZN, uh, where much earlier today a tornado ripped through some of the uh, residents and communities in Inanda. And right now what you are seeing on your picture is just the aftermath of the havoc that it has wreaked in its um, way as it was crossing through Inanda. We're going to move on to...